Hi, my name's Chris Butler. I'm the Divisional Process Development Manager for Accenture Components. And in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the injection molding process. We're gonna break it down into some relatively simple steps. So at the start of the cycle, we need the tool to close. So here's our tool. Basically, the tool closes, the clamp pressure builds up before we start to inject the material. But before we start to inject the material, we need to make sure that we have the right plastic pellets feeding the hopper unit into the injection unit. Once the tool is closed, we inject the molten material into the tool. Once the preset hold pressure time has elapsed, the next stage is the machine needs to screw back for the next shot, ready to make the next part. So it's very important that we have a constant supply of material into the injection unit. This enables the screw to screw back to its final position, making the machine ready to inject the next shot into the tool. But before that happens, obviously we need to eject the part we've just made. So the mold will simply open in this direction after a preset cool in time and we will eject the final part. So we've talked a little bit about the basic process. So now let's have a look at some of the key components that are involved. So for example, our mold tool. It's very important. So a mold tool is made up of two halves. Generally, you have a core and a cavity. The process has to take into account the intricacies of the tool and the design of the tool. It's very, very important. We also have to take into account our injection pressures. We have injection pressure and we have hold pressure. Very, very important in producing a stable, good quality part. We also have temperatures. We have our barrel temperatures and we also have what we call back pressure which causes shear heat in the material. This helps the material flow. We also have temperatures that affect the tool. This is why our tool cooling is highly critical throughout the process. All of these factors are so important to make sure we have a stable process and we can provide good quality consistent components. Here at Essential Components, we've got over 65 years experience in manufacturing and injection molding. Using this 65 years experience, it enables us to supply our customers with high quality, accurate components that meets their needs. Thanks for watching this video and I look forward to speaking to you again next time.